house of beauty. In Jersey City, on Tonnelly Avenue, the house of beauty is burning. On a Sunday morning in January, under the chill shadow of the Pulaski Skyway, the house of beauty is burning. Who lobbed the fire bottle through the glass, in among the creams and thrones, the helmets and clippers and combs? Who set the house of beauty burning? In the dark recess beside the sink, where heads lay back to be laved under the perfected heads rode along the walls. The hopeful photographs of possibility darken now that the house of beauty is burning. The skyway beetles in the ringing cold, trestle arcing the steel river and warehouses, truck lots and Indian groceries. A new plume of smoke joining the others, billow of dark thought rising from the broken forehead of the house of beauty. An emission almost too small to notice just now, the alarm still ringing, the flames new launched on their project of ruining an effort at pleasure. A sheet of jagged glass jutting like cracked ice in the window frame. All things by nature, wrote Virgil, are ready to get worse. No surprise then that the house of beauty is burning. We do not live here. The fire department's on the way. So we're at leisure to consider motive. Personal enmity? arbitrary malice, a will to pull down the forms of order, hungry for an end, or for equity, if we can't have beauty, you won't have it either. The world as it is, for which Jersey City stands in nicely, torches the houses of beauty wherever it finds them. Though whatever happens, However far these fires proceed in their given work, reducing history to powder, what the house of beauty made is untouchable now. Nothing can undo so many heads made lovely, or at least acceptable. <laughs> so much shapelessness given what are called permanence. Though nothing holds a fixed form. Bring on the flames. What does it matter if the house is burning? Propose a new beauty, perennially unhoused. Neither the lost things, nor the fire itself, but the objects in their dresses of disaster. Anything clothed in its own hurried passing. Padded vinyl chair burst into smoky tongues. Lucite helmet sagging to a new version of its form. Our black bridge, a charred rainbow on iron legs, two ruby eyes glowering from its crown. If beauty were burning, what would you save? The house of beauty is a house of flames.